Now that we know which sections items belong to, we can learn the correct order to place them in on the shelves. First, it is important to know that all shelving racks are shelved from left to right, top to bottom, within each shelving unit section in a row. Do not shelve left to right across the entirety of a row. Now the fourth sticker on a book is called the call number, and is usually located above the genre sticker. The number or letters printed on the call number tell you the order the book should go in. First, we'll begin with nonfiction materials. Nonfiction items have Dewey classification numbers as part of their call number, followed by the first three letters of the author's last name. When arranging materials, sort first by the whole number, the three digits before the decimal, and then, if there is more than one item with the same whole number, by the number following the decimal point, and then finally, by the three letters. What I like to do is take them one at a time and compare the numbers like this. Say we have three call numbers, 233.3444-THE, 223.3444-PAT, and 223.3544-PAT. All three of these are pretty close to each other, with only a few numbers distinguishing them. Covering them up with an imaginary sheet of paper lets you take the numbers one by one to determine where they go on the shelf. The smaller number goes to the left when shelving. So in this example, first only the number 2 is exposed. We don't have enough information to determine their order yet since all the numbers are the same. If we move the paper to the right one number, we'll see our first difference. Two of the call numbers are 22 and one is 23. Without even looking at the rest of the numbers, you can already tell that the 233 call will go to the right of both 22 books, since 23 is larger than 22. Continuing with the 22s, the next number exposed gives us 223, which isn't enough information to determine their order, since they are the same number. Moving the paper one more number reveals 223.3, which is the same as before. Moving the paper yet again, yields 223.34 and 223.35. Now we can determine their order. 34 is less than 35, so it goes to the left of the 223.35 book. So the correct shelf order for these books is as shown. Sometimes you will encounter a call number like these, 122.14 and 122.2. If you don't take the numbers one at a time, it is tempting to look at the numbers and think that 1 4 is bigger than 2, you know, 14 versus 2. However, these are decimals, and 0.14 is smaller than 0.2. You could see this yourself when using the paper method, since you would be comparing 122.1 with 122.2. Here, 1 is obviously smaller than 2. Fiction materials are more nuanced than nonfiction since there are a few more rules when shelving them. The fundamentals are easy. Materials are put in alphabetical order based on the author's last name on the call number. In addition to that, there are four rules to keep in mind when shelving. The first rule is the newest rule we just added in 2021. Materials by the same author should be placed in title order. For example, all three of these books share the same call number and author, Steele. They are shown in title alphabetical order. You can ignore any articles like the or a at the beginning of a title when determining order. The second rule is a space, a dash, or an apostrophe. These are treated as the letter A. For example, the following are in shelf order. O'Brien is treated as O-A-B-R-I-E-N. O'Connell is treated as O-A-C-O-N-N-E-L. -L. Following this rule, both books are to be shelved before Oberschneider. The third rule is all books within a series by the same author should be placed in the correct numerical series grouping. The series title and number supersede the rule about putting items in title order. If the series name and number is printed on the call number, as shown here, put them in order according to their series number. Also, please place books with the series listed on the call number at the end of an author section. So these three books will be placed after any books with a call number of only Osborne. They should also be shelved in alphabetical order according to the series title. 
In this case, the series is Merlin. So if there is also an Osborne series titled Pirates, these three books would be shelled before the Pirate series, but after the non-series Osborne call number books. The fourth rule is that when authors share the same last name, items should be shelved in order of last name, first name, and then title. These items are in the correct order. All these authors shared the last name of Allen, so you would look to their first name to determine shelving order. A slight exception to the previous rules are large print call numbers. Some of the older large print books contain an abbreviated author's last name as well as their first initial. Please ignore the older style call number and shelve it according to the author's last name, then first name, then the title of the material. In this example, the period would not count as the letter A, like in the second rule, so you wouldn't think to yourself, B-R-O-A-R. -R. You would instead look at the spine and see that the last name is Brown, first name Rita, and the title starts with a C, so it should go to the left of the other book, which contains the same author, but starts with a W. A few collections call numbers look different than the rest of the library. The most confusing are CDs. Their call numbers basically look like gibberish. You don't have to worry about what each section means, just take each letter or number one at a time, like in the nonfiction section, to determine their order. All the slashes are located in the same place for each CD, so you can ignore them or treat them like A's. The result's the same. DVD call numbers use part of their title of the DVD for the call numbers and are shelved in alphabetical order, the same as a fiction book. Video games are also a little different from the other call numbers. Their call numbers ends with the video game console that plays the game. You will see Switch, DS, 3DS, PlayStation, Xbox, and more. These should be shelved with other video games of the same console in each video game section. You should check the front of the item to see which collection they belong in.